into the show. That informs, improves, and inspires racers everywhere. The Northwest okay, no Race country, Report. Guys, the Northwest Race Report is brought to you by O'Hagan's Cart Supply, Lebanon, Oregon. You want to win? O'Hagan's wants to help. And by True Tech Automotive, Hazeldale, Washington. Get your car, truck, or tow rig repaired the right way, the True Tech way. And by Scott Seal Coat and Striping, Federal Way. For over 25 years, whether you're sealing or striping, you can count on Scott. And by Southern Oregon's Karting Headquarters, Speed City, LLC. Keeping racers on track with quality support and friendship. You're tuned in to the Northwest Race Report exclusively at terrybridges.com. And now back to your horsepower and performance hosts, Terry Bridges and Glenn Lippy Tower. Oh, what's going on, racers? Another edition of the Northwest Race Report. We are live and... Uh, we're live from Angel Motorsports uh, in Woodenville, Washington. And what a uh, beautiful shop it is. Um, what's going on, Lippe? It's all good in the hood tonight. Absolutely, it is. Um, you know, a little, little of the uh, chaos here, trying to get uh, the bugs worked out of this thing. But It's always that way with the remote stuff. Yes, it is. Uh, but I think it's, uh, it's going to be okay. Does it sound okay out there, you guys? I hope. I, I hope. I know I made one mistake, but that's all right. Um, I might have spoke when I shouldn't, we, we but uh, P, we, we P, gotta, who is P1? P1 is Jason Susage. Uh, no way. How does that work? Coming in number two is Dan Watkins, and number three is Scott Keeney. Wow. Even Ronnie Sires in the house. And uh, lack of, what is that? Oh, lack of computer skills. Matt Streavy, Jason Susage. Wow. Scott Keeney, though. How about uh, Brent Meyer? Wow. We Brent. are loaded for bear tonight. Daniel Watkins, Matt Streeby. Yeah. He says it sounds great, so we love it. Thank uh, you for that. We got a great show for you tonight. We're live again from Angel Motorsports. What what an awesome shop it is. Yeah, I'm envious. It is. I mean, it's super nice. Uh, we, we've even got the door open. That's how nice it is here. So uh, we do no heat and the doors open imagine y- that yep go figure right there so uh and it's and it's full of cars we've got a we've got a predator hey oh that's right we are on facebook live we too. are live yes uh, we are. if you guys want to check it out you have to go to renee angel's page is it is it it's public so go to renee angel's facebook page she's got us live on facebook live and uh we might even get her to walk around and show you her shop because it's pretty nice but we, we're standing here looking at a, a, a predator a kt a uas and behind us a couple of uh pretty sweet ford focus midgets definitely in the process yeah putting them together so yeah and biles tried to run uh oh yeah we got the rocket in the house <laughs> with uncle fly- uncle chuck newtson with a flyby yeah um but you know before we get started um the, the first thing I got to tell you is uh, many of you may know, maybe you don't know, but if do you know uh, Ed Flat? Uh, he was the, I think, now correct me if I'm wrong, Lippy, was he the current uh, CKA vice president? Yes, absolutely. Current uh, vice president as of, uh, yes. Yes. Well, he right suffered now. a, well, you tell him because you know more about it than me. So he suffered a major stroke yesterday. Uh, he was at the top of a flight of stairs, fell down the stairs, uh, hurt his arm, I've heard, and uh, he, his whole side, his left side, I believe it is, is, uh, is still not working. He's able to talk and that type of stuff right now. He's been in ICU uh, Ronnie was just able to talk to him a few moments ago, and, and I believe they were moving him out of ICU, which is a good thing. Uh, but still, he's got a, a, a long road to hoe right now um, uh, from a very, very, very major stroke. So, uh, yeah, keep, keep uh, Ed flat in your, in your prayers. And we also lost somebody else this week. Yeah. Terrible news. Yeah. Uh, we did a little piece on it last weekend. Um, he was part of the uh, Folus Motorsports team up there uh, at PGP, and his name was Ronnie Baker. And um, I don't, I don't know the details of it, but I, I just know. I don't know if it was one of those things where they they just said it's probably going to be better. Off. I I don't know, but he did he did pass, and uh, 
It looked encouraging there for a minute because they had him off of life support and he was breathing, and then um, it, it took a turn turn for the worse. And so, uh, yeah, he's no longer with us. So that's yeah. uh, that's Man. sad. We don't we don't like to lose any of our heroes that way. So uh, well, it just it just should. Uh, you know, when you, it just kind of reminds you, you know, when you, you're at the racetrack and you're getting ready to, to lose your mind on somebody, it, it just kind of brings it in perspective. Like, you know, what, um, what am I getting PO'd about? Yeah. Yeah. Really. Uh, the, uh, what I am mean, I getting PO'd about and is it worth it? You know, I mean, uh, in his case, he actually was doing something that he loved, obviously. So that's a, a great thing for right. him. So. But but still, you know, it makes me uh, makes All me right. almost makes me almost embarrassed uh, to see you know the stuff that we whine about. I mean, can you imagine what that family's <laughs> going? On? You know, I mean, it's just uh, yeah. I shouldn't laugh about that, but that's so true. I mean, we take everything for granted, and and we don't slow down and think about. All of that stuff. That, no, we don't, and it's and it's really uh, a shame. So keep that in mind, everybody. I mean, it's uh, man, it, it's just a bummer deal. I, I feel so bad for his family and everything. So, uh, Mr. Baker, if you're listening, or all the people that hang out that knew Ronnie Baker, um, man, our, our hearts go out for you here at the Northwest Race Report. So. Yeah, I'm sorry to say I, I never got to meet him, but uh, from all the stuff I was reading on the internet, he sounds like a an awesome guy and to just show up at the track to be there and help out and not have a real purpose says something about him and his character for absolutely. me absolutely so. it sure does well we got a great show for you tonight uh coming up we got the the rocket ronnie cox is here he's going to be talking about some of the uas stuff that uh is going on some some pretty cool stuff actually you guys and uh we've got some results from salem and then uh we've also got uh our episode number 2 of Product 41 uh, Drivers Tip of the Week oh, with nice. Ronnie Sires. So that's uh, that's he, exciting news. And our, consistent. And our Blue Line Graphics in the seat guest tonight is none other than Devin Borden. Nah, I'm looking forward to that one. You know that. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, he's a he's an awesome up-and-coming young driver, and we're excited to talk to him. I, I mean, you know, I've talked to him at the racetrack plenty of times, but it's always just kind of about race and stuff, right? You don't really, uh, I, I don't know much about him, you know, other than a, you know, he's 14 and he races, but it's, it'll be cool to kind of get to find out some stuff, but, uh, it's all about racing with them yeah. and that family though. So, you know, you're not going to get much more than that. Absolutely. You're not. And make sure you guys go to Renee Angel's Facebook page because that's where we are, uh, live. We're Facebooking it live from her shop. And, uh, so that is what's going on. What do you say? Uh, you want to get some results going on here? We can do it. Yeah. Let me know what you think. This is the new uh, Chris Seat. So uh, hang tight. We're going to be uh, right back with our results. If you're serious about racing, you're constantly looking for an edge. A tenth here, a pound there. It's a nonstop pursuit to find a quicker way around the racetrack. See High Performance believes to beat the racetrack, you must become the racetrack. And that is a thought process behind all of their innovative speed products. From their line of Superfly bodies and wings to the latest dual disc center vane super brake, it's all about finding a quicker way around the racetrack. With 45 years of innovation, Sea High Performance is dedicated to helping racers of all skill levels find an edge. Whether it's horsepower tuning, chassis dialing, or tire science, it's their commitment to innovation that sets them apart from the rest. Innovation is not what is. It's always been about what can be. So be all you can be with the integrity, innovation, and inspiration of C High Performance. Shop online 24-7 at chighperformance.com. All right, so we're back. Thanks to the good folks at C High Performance. Uh, Winter Circle Wednesday. Uh, Let's see here. Let's Let's do like this. Mario Mendez in the house. Yes, Mario Mendez in the house. Um. Man, we got, uh, let's see here. Well, I'll let you start off with uh, some of the, uh, what do we start off with? Beginner box non-Subaru? Uh, beginner box non-Subaru. That's oh. this one or this oh, one? Oh, that's probably, uh, yeah. You probably can't read my writing, can you? No. That's Jesse Henry that won that. And then Lexi Meyer, yeah, Correct, maybe? that's and correct. And then Jamie Hamlin? J- James Hamlin. James Hamlin. And Maddie, <laughs> yeah, you can't read it. It's Matt, Madison Ferrando. That was your top five in beginner box non Subaru. Oh yeah, Desmond Corley. He actually switched classes, so he he moved up to that. But ran good. That was an excellent. Lexi Meyer took the heats, 
was a runaway. It was like, uh, oh my goodness, and then uh, Jesse Henry out of nowhere in the main event. Wow, gets, nice. Gets by with like two to go and goes on to win it. Jeremy Long took the Subaru uh, portion of the box stock along with Keegan uh, Bounds and Keegan Asher. Tanner Gentry actually won it, but there's a little um, oh. a seal or something on the yep. bottom of that thing, and it was still there, but it kind of wasn't there. And I seen it. The cable had actually broke e- on it. Yeah, and so it was a poor placement of the of the seal itself. So it, it hung out past the carburetor. So it was a you know they they make those things out of lead. So it, uh, it it vibrated up and down and just basically ended up breaking the wire during the whole deal. So so it really wasn't a cheat, but it it just wasn't there. So well, Tanner Gentry actually won it, but he got DQ'd because of. You because know. of rules. Rules yeah. are rules, and they you are. have to enforce the, you, them. You do. Sometimes if they're in there, bad. you got to enforce them. Yeah, exactly. It's too bad. Uh, box stock. Seth Waldalt was the winner there. He led every lap uh, in the main event. He was solid, and they had plenty of restarts. Zach Massey was right there. But, you know, the one I was most impressed with was uh, this gal here, Alona Winningham. She has improved so much over the course of one year. I mean, I, I just couldn't believe how good she ran. I mean, it was uh, she was impressive. And then Landon Acevedo and the Cowboy Jaden Trupp were uh, fourth and fifth. So no Oliver on this. Uh, on uh, that day? He was he was uh, he finished back though, and I can't. Uh, he did pretty good in his in his heat race, but he uh, he finished back away. Isn't but he was running his two hundred six against oh. all that stuff. Oh, you okay. Know? So. It was kind of a, a weird deal. Um, but he did run good. A couple times, uh, you should have seen the movie he had off of turn two in the heat race. He threads the needle between, you know, even McDowell had to come running up and say, you, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. <laughs> nice. But uh, let's see, the 250s, uh, here's the deal. So, uh, you know, uh, I don't think uh, he wasn't. Uh, who's the – Thornhill wasn't Thornhill. there. So he said – he told Borden, come and get my 250 so you can so you can run it. So Devin Borden ran in the 250 class as well. And, oh. And he went on to win that. Kyle Rolls was second. And, and the, the guy I haven't seen in a while was Kyle Cormigan. He was back. Uh, Grace Osborne and Alex Reich were your top five there in 250. Um, five horse open. Now, I, I don't know. Were, were you there at the start of the year to see this Braden Brookshire? Have you heard that five horse open? That thing is the that thing is the nastiest sound. I mean, it's a thumper. You know, it's it's a. But, 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 I mean, you can hear every hit on that thing, <laughs> and uh, man, it doesn't sound like a. It doesn't sound like a. I mean, it's it's a it's a naughty motor. I'm telling you. He went on to beat Natalie Hudson, who I thought was pretty good too. Natalie Hudson did a nice job. And, uh, and then Cole Patrick, he didn't run either one of the heat races, but he made it out for the main. So uh, that's cool. Uh, the Micro 600 Open oh, Saturday night was absolutely ridiculous. It went to Hunter Stanley. However, I'm going to say that I think um, McConville was maybe the ride to beat. He got out there. Uh, he passed Barney, who was leading it. I don't think she really... Was it rough? I didn't think it was rough. Did you, Renee? Well, when they hit, they were wheel to wheel, though. I I don't know. I didn't see it as. I must be watching. I must have a different perspective on stuff. Because, you only got one eye on it. Well, no. I'm just saying. You know, uh, uh, some of the stuff is like. Some of it is like. Anytime you touch, they want to call, and, and and I think that opens a can of worms. Don't don't you? I mean, then you make your bed. Now, I mean, it better be something major because if you're gonna start it, um, then now it's every little tick and hit and touch. You know, somebody wants something, and I don't. I don't know. It's the open class, so you just can't let that get out of hand. That's that's all I have to say about it. So it wasn't out of hand. I didn't think. Did you? Did you think it was out of hand? I, I mean, I thought. I mean, she left the door open there. I mean, it, it might have been because it was too early. I don't know. I mean, and, but he but he put it in there and. And y'all aren't here, so he was asking Renee if uh, if he thought that uh, yeah, if I mean, she thought that uh, you know was out of hand. So that's who uh, Terry's asking when he's asking. The so, uh, but anyway, uh, so end up that uh, McConville breaks, he gets a flat, and 
everybody thought that maybe uh, Barney retaliated from that move, right? But that wasn't the case. I guess it was a flat tire. She avoided to to miss him, and they just kind of got together. So that leaves Stanley and McCarty to go at Theo McCarty, and they put on a show. It was back and forth, back and forth. Comes down to the last uh, green white checker, and it was hold your breath. And Stanley went on to win it. So he won both days. He won on Sunday too. So he did. Hunter Stanley did a, a a really nice job. Yeah, awesome job. And so was that his first time in that, right? Wasn't it? Or? No, he's been running it all year. But oh, he has. Yeah, but he's. Uh, I mean, the kid can wheel just about anything because he. As you'll see, he jumped in later on in the in the wingless show that they had, and and he rolled that thing like he was a vet. So nice. Yeah, I thought so too. But uh, yeah, McCarty was second. Uh, Mark Hertz was third. Uh, Dakota Woods and Lindsey Barney were your top five. Midgets, uh, boy, there weren't there wasn't too many. Uh, it surprises three, me. Th- three off season. Yep. Lee St. Paul wins it. Brian Hayes and uh, of course our own Shane Biles was there, but. He ran the first heat, and uh, then I think it was power steering pump or something went bad. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember you telling me about that. Okay. Yep. But he was rolling. He was uh, he he was rolling. So uh, Pro Force Papa Tom Ferrando, Thomas Ferrando, I, I, you weren't there, but uh, did anybody see that? Um, let's see. Uh, I don't even think you were there, uh, Brent Meyer. But uh, did anybody see the exhaust on the? Thomas Renner, it was on that Mustang or whatever it was. Man, that thing was glowing orange. And I'm and when I say glowing, I mean I'm talking cherry red from from the flange that bolts to the head all the way down the header, all the way through the exhaust way, to the muffler and I I mean the whole entire thing was cherry red from 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 beginning to end. And he rolled it like that for I don't know, I, I mean I'm surprised I'm surprised the motor lived. But I mean, I mean, I thought something was going to catch on fire because, and, and everybody was running for extinguishers because when he come off of there. But I mean, that thing was, it was like you just put a blowtorch on it. I mean, nice. it was cherry red. It was like my rotor at the BK. Yeah, uh, yeah. Times about probably. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, Papa Tom won. Uh, won it. Uh, Thomas Frando was second. Mike Wagner was uh, third, and then the micro restricted uh, Seth Annerlini. Won that. Ben Ferrar was second, and Kai Dixon was third. On Sunday, Kai Dixon won the micro-restricted, by the way, So, and Ben Ferrar was second. Some days are just like that, right? You're just second. And, you know, too many people don't want to – well, it's a competitive nature. I guess I, I won't even get into that. That's a, that's a whole other show. Well, uh, no, because, you know, I can remember um, Stingray Rob, who, by the way, from Idaho, he's, he's trying out for some indie stuff now. Some, I think it's Indy Lights or whatever, but he was winning everything, right? So you know, as it is, you know, it was. I mean, it was pretty much academic when he went there. He basically won. Well, one day he comes in and he gets uh, second, you know. And I said, so I talked to the winner and I go over to Stingray. I go, geez, I go, man, what what happened? He goes, what do you mean, what happened? I got second. <laughs> What's wrong with that? You know, and it was kind of like, you know what? We do. We kind of take that for granted right i mean yeah absolutely you know and and somebody that uh you know when i got into karting that uh, that i very much respect right now uh said to me one day you know second's a whole lot better than last so in 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 what brought that all up was i I had a chance to go for the lead but you know it was a questionable one and i I probably would have ended up taking out me and the leader in that move but i didn't choose to take it i choose for second well wait a minute he said that you know if you can't win nobody should be able to that, this is you, a so common. you should have probably took him out <laughs> this is common so <laughs> you know i, I kind of live by that rule now you know second's way better than last yeah because so, that's where you end up if you take that questionable shot so I, and, and while we're speaking of questionable shots did did <laughs> did, did, did anybody see I, I haven't seen it yet but is, did, did you see the facebook post that shane smith put on uh the nine no He's 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 driving down the road, right? And he's got his daughter in the car, I guess, with him. And he goes, "What?" He says, "You know." He says, "What?" And then his little girl goes, "The nine sucks." <laughs> and and bad man. And Shane says, "You make me so proud." Bad man, fly by. Yeah, fly by. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's crazy. But that's the kind of um, that's the kind of cool stuff. I mean, just like when Stackman put. Um, 
on that dumpster. He put uh, – oh, no, Ronnie put on that dumpster. It was a 1 and they – a 13, and he made it a 4, and he puts 43 on the garbage can. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's just cool stuff. It makes you laugh out loud. But I, I saw 43 on a rock earlier this week that said it sucked. Yeah, yeah. But uh, <laughs> the Dwarfs, Danny Altum won that. Clayton Parsons was second. John Com- uh, Campos was third. Doug Pirtle and uh, Nick Bomber. Uh, Pacific Mini Sprint Association, uh, Andrew Merkin, Paul Sinji, and Crystal Flath. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's kind of what happened there. Oh, oh, we forgot the uh, wingless Saturday night. It was cool. They had like eight or ten, um, but it went, um, let's see here, where to it go? It was, yeah, right there, the wingless. Jesse Caldwell won it. Casey Smith uh Kenny Boardman Jr. Riley Borden was there. Haven't seen him one of those. Haven't seen him in one of those. He, yeah, he actually did a nice job. And then Hunter Stanley was in the Dylan Lamberth ride. Duke Johnson and Greg Wiles that rounded out your wingless. I thought it was a good show. Did you? I I I didn't even know that Riley was in there. I thought that that was Greg. Um, I'm somebody. Something Greg, uh, the, the last name is, is, is escaping me right now. So I was surprised to hear that Riley was actually in there wheeling he, that. So. He, he, he was, for sure. And then the open cage, um, boy, what a, a, a day. First of all, first of all um, Johnny Burke was there. Yeah, he, had a, he tore some ligaments in his ankle. He got clearance from the doctor, gets there. He, he goes out. What happens first? Uh the uh he he had some god i can't remember what happened first a, a rotor something had some problems there then then oh then they broke a spindle they, he got that fixed um came in and i don't know the hub or something the sprocket hub went cattywampus in the in the last chance qualifier he went on hung on to make it but then in the main event i don't know what broke he he made it like two laps and and so Johnny Burke has no luck. Oh, uh, well, he did good the weekend well, the he, last time he, he was down. Yeah, there. yeah, he did. But Great. Boy, it picked up. But anyway, um, they had quite a few. I think they started 14. There was some gripe about, you know, should they start more? And You know, I mean, 20 of them in there. I, yeah. I mean. I, I'm not buying that. I don't know. I mean, that's what, that's, what they, that's what they want. But, the, you know, if you look at Red Bluff, that's what they do. They run a lot of uh, – they run a ton of cars, and it's it, it, it's like it's smaller. Have you been it? there? I've only uh, seen video. Yeah, I've never been there, so uh, I don't I don't know. But it looks small. Anyway, uh, Devin Borden went on to win Woo-hoo! the open case card, and I think that wraps up the title for Devin too. Um, and boy, he was a master. And, and, you know, he beat some good company. I mean, we're talking. Uh, Tyler Thompson was second. Duke Johnson was third. Jesse Caldwell was fourth. Uh, he started on the pole, by the way. And and here's a guy that was really good. I thought was Jeffrey Hudson. Um, oh yeah. You don't see, uh, I, you know, he runs good. But, but, I mean, but he's he's not flashy. You, you probably wouldn't even uh, notice him if you weren't. You know what I mean? But man, did he run good? Um, he was fifth. Uh, James Setters was there. He was sixth. Boardman Jr. was seventh. Bryson James. They popped a motor on Saturday. Got it back, got it together, made it, and then he had some problems in the main. Schofield struggled too as well. They broke a spindle. Um, wow. Well, I mean, you know, it, it was just it wasn't rough. It was just heavy. And then uh, the other guy that I thought did really good was uh, Jaden Walbridge. Oh. For, he top ten, but uh, still he he ran really good in the heat races and looked good. And and then Dylan Lambert, eleventh, uh, Johnny Burke, and. Uh, Talon Roberts, she was fast, too. The T3 was super fast. She had some problems, which was a bummer. And then uh, Bradley Lynn uh, was was real good, too. So, uh, you know, you, 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 there's, yeah. Another flyby. This. There's children everywhere. <laughs> Another flyby. And, and, you know, and that's a UAS administrator. <laughs> it, it, right? I mean. It, Another flyby. Y- yeah. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. thinking so. Oh, wow. What up, Brian Williamson? In the house. Cody Welker in the house. We got a lot of them on yeah, there. Yeah, what's there's, up, Welker? There's McDowell along with yeah. o- with Oliver on there. So. Hey, yeah, congrats, Welker, on your uh, on your uh, top five. I think you got a second and uh, a fifth in the uh, 
not in the Yamaha, but in the uh, Sportsman. That's awesome, dude. So congratulations on that. Um, what do we got here? We got about five minutes, so uh, don't go anywhere. I, I, I got to get a uh, got an ad in. We're coming up on the seven o'clock hour, which will be Devin Borden joining us. Uh, in the meantime, we'll probably uh, maybe try to slide uh, the rocket in here and uh, talk to him. But we'll be back uh, very shortly. Racing, it's preparation, it's focus, it's attention to detail. And when you try to take shortcuts, it shows. At Speed City, Southern Oregon's karting headquarters, distributor for Ultramax, Legend, QRC, Bell Helmets, and K1 Race Gear, they don't roll like that. Speed City is committed to roll the way champions roll, by keeping racers on track with knowledge, integrity, and performance. No shortcuts, no negativity, no other motives. You don't just have their word on it, you've got their name on it. So get back to having fun and get to calling Speed City. Speed City, LLC, keeping racers on track with quality service and friendship. 541 531-1222. All right, we are back. Big shout out to uh, Speed City LLC. They're uh, they're good good folks. Hey, uh, so what did you guys think of that new uh, Chris C ad? Let me know. Give me a give me a little hit up on the chat line there. Let me know what you thought. I don't know. Maybe a squinty didn't hear it, but uh, let me know what you think of that. That was something we I put together today. I thought it came out pretty good but i'd be interested to see what you guys think on that too but i can't hey. hear the ad so I'll well have to wait. it's because i got the thing set up from the track because it's always on the pa right so nah, no if we had a speaker it'd be cool but yeah let us know how you think of it or what you think of it yeah for sure um we're live on facebook what's up yep and um let's see here starting to we got about up. we got about five minutes so should we should we bring uh rocket in here or should we i think he deserves more than that no so. no but i mean you want to get started or should we just kind of kind of hold the no we'll uh we'll fill it up later we're gonna have a little bit of time being just not here and uh and right after we're done so we can we can him. we can just kind of float then right exactly so renee come on <laughs> you can, so she can go on, yeah and uh so put on your headphones and, and you're good to go, I think. Uh, and mean, then if he calls in between, we'll just uh, wing with it. But what we did there. Yeah. Oh, the, too short. We well, go. but you got it, it. You got it around the cord too. <laughs> oh well, we'll get a we'll get a acclimat. We're hanging yeah, Renee so, right now. Yeah. Just so <laughs> welcome Renee knows. Angel. Hey, thanks for having us up here. Oh, yeah. No, no problem. Absolutely. The uh, the new shop turned out fabulous i love it yes yeah, my home away from home <laughs> how how long did it take you to get it up i mean how long had you been working on it a uh, little over a year it took um with snohomish county the the plans and all that yeah. stuff took a little longer than anticipated i think that's a normal uh, you think? thing when you're <laughs> getting permits and stuff <laughs> well uh it always does take a while so w it would have been faster if the permits would have been quicker or were you just kind of just taking your time on it little by little uh, from the time that I came up with the concept of what I wanted to the time we had a permit to start moving ground was six months. Wow. It's it's tough. The further you go north, the, the tougher it is, for sure. They uh, they have a lot of, of hoops and jumps you have to get through to... Uh, do we have our guy? Yeah, we got our guy here, so uh, let's, uh, uh, let's roll this. off the hook, then. She is kind of off the hook, but we'll see. I'm going to try and fix her uh, headphones. And everything like that. Yeah. Your favorite drivers and people of interest in the motorsports world. It's time for In the Seat, powered by Blue Line Graphics. All righty, our guest tonight, man, I'm excited to have him. Uh, he is an up and coming uh, young man. His name is uh, Devin Borden. Devin Borden, welcome to the show, man. Hey, how's it going? Really good. So tell me, where are you at right now? Oh, uh, you mean on our drive or Yeah, are you are you in the are you on the road? Yeah, we're yeah, we just got to uh Chehalis. To Chehalis? So you just left? Yeah, we just left about an hour ago or It's so. only Wednesday. Well they should have yeah, they should you should have just came up here and, and, and hung out and then went on the road. <laughs> Stay away. It's yeah, King County. I know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Well, that's a little ways up, though. That's a couple of hours. You wouldn't want to do that. So are you excited about going down there? Oh, yeah. Really excited. I'm Good. looking forward to it. Good. Well, let's let's reverse back a little bit. How, how old are you, man? I'm um, 14. Good Lord. 14. 
And uh, how how did you were you happy with uh, how everything went this weekend at Salem? I mean, you looked really good. Yeah, yeah, we had a really good weekend. You know, uh, Thornhill let us loan us our two fifty car, so we got to run that race for the money. You know, but uh, yeah, you know, won both of them, so yeah, <laughs> really good weekend. How about in the 500? I mean, you're uh, you guys didn't have to work on it much, did you? I mean, it was pretty much good right out of the gate. Yeah, we we didn't. You know, we do most of the work at the shop and try and get them, you know, good out so we just not to thrash at the track and get out of the box. So, and it was pretty much just get it out of the box pretty much through as soon as we got on the track and then throughout the night, just it was really good. So. Right. So now, now, do do you have, do you? I mean, you've got enough time. I mean, do you have a certain feel that you want the car to have that you can that you relate to your dad that you know you say, uh, or I mean, how do you guys kind of go about getting it where you love it? Well, you know, uh, he kind of knows what my driving style is. You know, I kind of like more of a free car. You know, and. Uh, you know, I give him a lot of feedback when I, you know, when I get off the track and then make adjustments from there. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's really a team deal. We both work together on getting the car fast. Oh, oh, for sure. But so, like, when you come in, let's say the car isn't isn't maybe working the way you like it, What what where do you guys start? What's the first thing your dad asks you? Uh, well, every, pretty much every time I get off the track, he's like, where could it be better? And, you know, and then I tell him, and then, you know, it's either put it, put my cross weight in it, you know, moving the wheels in or out or, you know, whatever it is. Right. So if you come in and say, man, it's, it's really good, he'll still ask you, where could it be better at? Yeah. Yeah, wow. he'll always, yeah, uh, like, you know, sometimes, you know, a lot of times uh, I'll go out and I'll be like, yeah, I don't know how much better we can get it. It's really good. So he just always asks me, where could it be better? And, you know, we just, there's not, you know, well, it usually always ends up getting it a little bit better, but. Right. Yeah. Are, are, are you, on, are you, are you, are you moving your phone around or, or what? Or is it just maybe the van or the motorhome? It's probably Shehalis. <laughs> Okay, the, your phone because you're you're kind of like fading in and then you'll fade back and fade in, fade back. So, um, have you won this race before down there? Uh, the the, the, um, the West Coast Nationals. Uh, no, last year we came really close. I I was leading it and then uh, um, with two laps to go, I got dumped on research. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that that always stinks. He but, got red bluffed. Oh yeah, he got red bluffed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So now was that in the five hundred? No, last year we, you know, that was the two fifty. This was my first year running five hundred. Wow. Well, you know, you got the title at Salem, by the way. Congratulations. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> and uh, many more to come, I'm sure. So, what are your plans uh, for this weekend? You're going to get down there. It starts. Uh, what practice starts on Friday? Yeah, well, we're just kind of getting, trying to get down there early because we, you know, last weekend uh, on the, the parade, last night, taking the share to black and motor blue. So, Ron Osborne actually has motor and he's just got it fixed. So, we got to trash and get that thing all put on there and finish up a few other little things. Wow. So, you're actually working on the car before you get to the race or while you're at the racetrack? Yeah. Oh, that's a no-no. No, I'm just kidding. Your dad knows that. <laughs> so, yeah. so what? You know, what are your aspirations, Devin? I mean, you know, you're you're uh, getting pretty good. I mean, is it is it open wheel your passion, or or I mean, would you would you roll a late model if that came open, or what? Where are you wanting to well, go I, with um, all this? Well, I mean, I go anywhere, anywhere the rides are. I mean, I go. I mean, open wheel. I really find. I I really like it. I mean. Anything in a late haul or, I mean, anything would be just awesome. I'd take any that I could get, get in. Right, right. Well, what is it about open wheels that you love so much? I don't know. I just really like the, I just really like the dirt and, you know, the big sliders, you know, top and bottom. And, right. 
Yeah. Right. Does your mom ever get worried about you? <laughs> yeah, well, we're trying to get a spring card uh, put, put together here and get a little bit nervous about that, but... <laughs> you think? Yeah, I bet she's more than a little bit nervous. Your dad's probably getting an earful. <laughs> yeah. so, you know, uh, what was it like seeing your uncle out there? Wasn't that crazy? Oh, yeah, that, that was really awesome watching him out there with that. He did pretty good, yeah. too, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he actually did. Yeah, I know. That was crazy. That was cool. But then you can, he comes in there and you say, yeah, but you're still not as good as me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shoot! Is is he pretty cool? I mean, uh, you get along with Riley pretty good. Yeah, I, yeah, he's he's really good. I, I really like him. Yeah, he's good peeps, man. He sure is. Well, hey, Devin, thanks for being on. Congratulations on that big win yesterday. Uh, I mean, uh, this weekend, and uh, I'm gonna be checking you out uh, down at Red Bluff. So, man, keep uh, what do they say? Rubber side down. Rubber side down. Dirt in contact. Yeah. Yeah, tell your dad thanks a lot for allowing you to be on here. And, um, yeah. I look forward to us hanging out some more, man. We wish you luck, too. Yeah, me too. Yeah, you're the man, Devin. So good <laughs> luck. And, and remember, remember, drive, pick your battles, right? Right, yeah. Pick Especially your battles. There. Yeah, pick your battles. <laughs> so uh, yeah. anyway, man, good luck, kiddo, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be cheering for you. Yeah, okay, thanks. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, does he sound 14? Quality individual, though. He's a neat kid, man. I'm telling you. He's a neat kid. He's I mean, the, the the whole family, you know, because um, I'm originally I met him uh, all at Oakwood and he was just uh, he was just starting quarter midgets. Mm hmm. And I mean, he was a shoe then, you know, I mean, and uh, so it's just kind of neat to see it all kind of like that Ben Ferrara that was there. I mean, I, I, you know, I watched been doing him since he was in the quarter midgets, too. You know, and it's like uh, when you see all that kind of come full circle, it's 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 kind of cool. Oh, I mean, definitely. I, I've watched Devin grow uh, through the quarter midgets and, and on, on up through the ranks. And uh, he is I mean, uh well, let's let's face it. There's a uh, three generations of Bordens, maybe even four. I don't know uh, uh, any further back than the third, but uh, there's three generations of yeah. Bordens, and they all can drive very, very well. So it uh, he, he he should be able to. But it's you know some people have it and some people don't. You know, I I know kids. Well, he's 14 years old and and can drive very, very well. I know people that are in their late 40s and probably won't ever make the level. He is. Yeah, isn't that weird how that works? But I mean, his dad was his dad was really something, I guess. He I was mean, very much something. Uh, his back took him out of the car, so that's otherwise we would probably still see him in the car. But yeah, he was very, very yeah, good. I, yeah, because not being a super. I mean, I didn't watch a lot of open wheel stuff. I mean, did you have you seen him run, Renee? Yeah, I have. He's, so he was good. Yep. Definitely yeah. runs in the family. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. For sure. And and their dad, Riley and Glenn's dad, uh, Glenn Sr., was a phenomenal driver as well. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. And and, and, a, and a bar fighter from way back. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mess with none no, of them. No, I don't I mean, recommend it. Especially so. uh, like Riley, boy. You ever seen him hot? <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I'm like, I'm glad that dude's on my side. I'm telling you. Three, but, three guys watched him take down one night. So, yeah, definitely. Oh, who, Riley? Mm -hmm. I know. He's he's one of them dudes. You better kill him because if he gets up, you're done. I mean, mm -hmm. so, wow. We, For sure. Well, we're live from Angel Motorsports up here in Woodenville. This is a this is an awesome shop. We're live on Facebook. What's up? <laughs> Random flybys. Woo! Yeah, and if you're um, if, if it's okay to put the nine sucks if you're <laughs> sick of seeing all that on front of it. Um, that's just how it, how it goes. So, um, what are your plans? What are your plans this yeah. year? I mean, are are you going to be uh, UAS in it all? Or are you going to just be strictly Ford Focus? What are you going to be doing? Ford Focus this summer. Um, I've put a lot of effort into the last two years of um, just learning about the car and whatnot. It's, so I'm going to run all, I think there's 24 races this summer. Um, wow. Unfortunately, not going to make any of the UAS races, but I still am going to go to Phoenix for the Nationals. Yay! Wow, that's a that's a bummer. But, I mean, I, I, mean, I totally get it. It's just, it's a, it's a, one less quality entry, that's it's for a, sure. But it's a choice. I mean, you know, it, it, 
it never works good to spread yourself thin through several different things. It's always better to concentrate on something, and then it, it feels more uh, fulfilling yeah, it, at the end. You're right. Something's so. going to suffer if you're trying to do more than, you know, something has to. I mean, that's just the way it is. But So how, how close are you to, uh, you think, getting a W? I had definite glimpses of brilliance last year. There was a couple of races where I had, you know, first or second place or second or third place finishes in the heat race. I started on the pole um, at Banks and Deming. Short track is definitely uh, my forte where you actually have to drive the car to where Skagit and, and Grace Harbor, you're pretty much just along for the ride. And Is it flat foot there or no? I can't. I can for about a lap or two and then, you know, the voices yeah. in my head start taking over. So. <laughs> the smart people <laughs> start talking. You better lift. <laughs> well, um, I, I definitely like the dry slick at Skagit and Grace Harbor. It, it, that's a true equalizer, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it, for mm-hmm. sure it is. I mean, dry mm-hmm. slick is the equalizer. At least I know it was at Willamette, too. But, yep. you know, I just got to ask, you know, how crazy was that when you're in the car and you see – your your husband take that about 12 foot jump in the air you know i mean that had to be because i'm looking at you you had that gopro and i'm thinking man she's got to be like oh my god that's shane right i mean or did you know that was shane when no i knew that was him and and you know the quality of cars we run and the safety equipment um it wasn't that bad of a wreck so i figured everything would be okay and i see him getting out of the car right but i mean at at first does it that kind of thought go through like oh my because he was he was awful high in the air i mean i know i watched that and i went holy crap that was uh that had to have been pretty weird but huh so you didn't that doesn't like well you're you're a They're you're kind of like a tomboy right you, that, that, that shit affects her really though i mean they wait know. to see blood before they get yeah blood. well yeah and, and, <laughs> and you know when i was his spotter when he ran the the nascar the, northwest tour you kind of had to take the emotion out of the whole thing because your spotting well, is your primary job, even though, you know, that's your husband out there. Right. But but even before um, I, I knew who Shane was, I, I stumbled across the pictures of um, when he hit that wall. At, 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 I mean, I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was – I could not believe it. Did you ever see him, Lip? No, I haven't seen they him. They were absolutely – I mean, you, you wonder how how somebody walked away from that. It was that yeah. wadded up. It, yeah, I mean, it was, was it was definitely ugly. Pretty ugly. Yeah. Wow. I'm still amazed by what she said about the disconnect, and that that just really hits home. I mean, that's that's so much how it is. You 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 really have to be able to do that, otherwise you just go nuts. So. Yeah, but Shane's problem is he's saying the disconnect stays to when we're getting home. <laughs> <laughs> They're still I needed to, I needed to connect back up a little bit. <laughs> I'm sure there's no problem there, but she's absolutely right. I mean, you do have to disconnect from it. Otherwise, you would you would just go nutso and, and worry yourself to death. And I, I know when I uh, when I rolled it over, it hit the wall over in Spokane, and, uh, you know, Rusty didn't finish any better than sixth in that race. And, you know, I'm on the way home. I'm grilling. I'm like, what the hell happened to you? You know what? He's like, well, I was all freaked out. You know, you have seen you going through the air. And, uh. and so, you, you know, you, you do have to just be able to, you know, disconnect from that you there you got a job you need to get it done and and so you have to and you know he's seen me get out and walk away but still it didn't it didn't matter it affected him for the rest of the race yeah i mean it yeah Mm -hmm. and and i would imagine a a bad you know something a a wreck like that is you know it makes you a little gun shy a little bit but it has me um you know it's one of those deals though if you're if it's that worrisome you're probably you probably should go find something else to do because it's going to it's going to take away that edge. I mean, y- and you got to have it. You know, once you lose that, it's all done. Well, yeah. yeah I've uh I've managed to get better since then. So for me personally, yeah, it definitely affected me right off the bat. But uh Well, yeah, cuz you know, it's always in your mind, right? You're it, always thinking, "Oh gosh, you know, or you don't put it somewhere where you normally would have just shoved it in there and not even thought about it." So Yeah, each time you get in in the car, you, you just have to push yourself to go further and further and uh, hopefully you get back up to where you were. Yeah. Well, I, I know I when do. I uh broke my collarbone in the midget wreck, it Luckily, I had about six months to recover from it, and I had a lot of time to think about it. 
And th you, about the first couple weeks was like, God, do I really want to do this again? But the longer I got to think about it, the more I wanted to do it because it wasn't going to defeat me. Right, right. Well, it is who we are. Yeah. Well, no, well, I mean, you know, and that six months off, I I if it's like during the race season or whatever, I mean, do you, I believe, I don't know, but I believe you can learn a lot just from watching. I mean, if you're really, you know, the desires there. I mean, you can learn a ton and you could really not have, I mean, you're always going to have some rust, but I mean, you can still be pretty dang sharp just from actually watching um, yeah. when, yep. when, when you're off and out of the car, right? Yeah, because we went to the races every weekend. We'd hang out and help people and I just learned, okay, wait, why'd you do that change and what what feel are you looking for and just kind of got my, my baseline for... See, and that's the beauty of that is... Um, not only is it the knowledge, but it, it's knowing what what questions to ask. You know, so many people, the newbies are always like, hey, why, you know, should I do, can I, you know, what, I need to get one of those, you know, and it's kind of like, you know what, just go drive it first because 95% of those questions will be taken care of. Then you'll be able to ask the questions that people can actually help you with. Some of those, it's, you know, how's it going to feel, you know, when, when you say it's loose, is it going to, you know, <laughs> I can, you you got to just go drive the car. There's no way somebody's going to be able to tell you that. Yep. Yeah. So, absolutely. I don't know. So I, well, shoot. That's uh. That's awesome. So when does uh when does the focus season start up? Uh, twenty fifth. We go to Banks for play day, um, and then the next weekend is uh, Deming play day, and then the week after that is a Deming opener. So is is uh is Banks been kind to you? Oh, I love that place. Do you? Now that's Sunset, right down yep. in down yep. there. Wow, that that's weird. They open up at uh, now. Do you guys go to Willamette at all? No, or no, no Willamette, no Cottage Grove. I uh, wonder, we go, I wonder we go why. To, uh, I'm not sure if we go to Medford uh, Memorial Day weekend. Oh wow! And then uh, September 31st, October 1st, we have a two day race at Chico. So perfect. That's just closer to. The Nationals, right? The, the bad thing is we have to come all the way home, l offload the carts, and then load the midgets up and go back. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. When's your first Deming? Uh, 14th April. Oh. Oh, nice. I've never been to Deming. I really want to make it up there, so I'm going to try to make that one. They 14th of April. They got rid of the inside wall, so it ought to be interesting this year. Oh, so yeah, I've never been there yet, so I'm yeah. looking forward to that. 14th of April, that's pretty... Uh, that's coming up. That's coming yeah. up. Yeah, I got to get hustling too, but because uh, I'm going to Palm Springs on the on the fourth, I think. Sucka. I got PGP the second, and then going to Palm Springs, and then after that, I'm sure the late model stuff's going to start. So I got to get get busy. Well, Renee, thanks for again, thanks for uh, having us. And where's the live feed? You can go to uh, what? Is it gone? It's Mister Esquinny, and he just doesn't know where to go to find it. Oh, the live, it's uh, Renee Angel Facebook page. Yep, it's live, or it's public. Yeah, it's public. R-E-N-E-E-A-N-G-E-L. That's on Facebook. You can find it there, so. Yep. Right on. So will you get the rocket in here? Find out what's going on with uh, the UAS? Woohoo! Yeah. Maybe so, we can uh, fix those headphones real quick, like. Yeah, we'll be. So uh, can you kill the mic over there? We'll be. Uh, We'll be uh, right back right after this. The three most expensive things you'll do in your life are buy a house, educate your kids, and go racing. What you don't need is another expense, and that's why you take your car and tow rigs to True Tech Automotive to ensure that they are maintained and repaired the right way with the right parts at the right price. And how's this for right? Extended to all racers is the In the Family 25% discount off of all preventative maintenance and repair labor. All you have to do is use the discount code NWRR to save. Now that's right. Get it done the right way. The True Tech way. True Tech Automotive, 6900 Northeast Highway 99, Hazeldale, Washington. 
technical difficulties. In four, three, two, one. All right. We're well, sorry about that, guys. Um, so hopefully it went on. I'm just trying to see what uh, happened there. The three most expensive go. things you'll do in your life are buy a house, educate your kids, and go racing. What you don't need is another expense. So you guys got that. So anyway, we're here. We're back uh, with the Rocket Ronnie Cox uh, talking about some. Uh, we're going to be talking about some uh, UAS stuff. Um, big season coming up for for them. Lots of new. I mean, uh, sixteen was was okay. I, you know, I thought, but there's going. I, I mean, I've been hearing like you were saying. There's a lot of scuttlebug about uh, guys coming around and building stuff and coming out. You know, I I hear Kravitz poking around. Billy Weber's talking about getting something. Uh, Man, I mean, it, it potentially could be uh, also. Uh, f- what is it, uh, Finch? Uh, yeah, Brandon Finch. Oh, I I yeah. didn't know. I know he got a Yamaha stuff, but I didn't know he was trying to get the some. Yamaha is out of his stock from when he used to run when he was a junior. They pulled the can off that thing and put a pipe on it and came down and kicked our butts in uh, in Salem. But he's working on building the UAS ride as well. That's why he didn't want to finish cutting up his side panels, is because he plans on running in the UAS. So and they allow the the higher wow. side panels. Boy, that's you know now that kind of changes the complexion of things i think a little bit because those guys are i mean they're runners yeah i mean they are runners uh you know i, I mean it's yet to be seen there are a lot of, still a lot of stuff they got to do but i mean i know weber's and uh and finches i mean they come at least finch i know got late model experience so they're no strangers to it that's gonna but then that toughen up the northwest uas big time definitely yeah so what do you got, Ronnie? How yeah, what's up, Rocket? This, uh, How you doing, man? Hey. It's new. So yeah, so I got the schedule done here, and uh, first off, I got to wait, 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 time out. Okay. How are those Vegas girls? Oh, dude. <laughs> 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 on Facebook Live, you want me to post pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was good times. My dad, uh, my dad hooked us up with some. Uh, he's friends with a guy named Brent Dewars, who's about the third one down the list on. Uh, you know, it goes like Mike Helton, whatever, and then this Brent guy, and my dad's buddies with him, and he got us some hot passes for the cup race, and we got got to go just about anywhere we wanted, and it was uh, wow, it was pretty cool. That was epic. Yeah, good times, and then and then of course afterwards we went down to Fremont, and uh, that's where the fun really starts. <laughs> <laughs> it's Vegas. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, I got the schedule done, and um, first off, I got to apologize to a bunch of people. It, it, I tried to have it done a while back, but you know, I was docking a lot of the stuff on getting castle rock going and it just didn't pan out so we kind of had to go a different direction and you know it is what it is i know it, the one thing i've learned over the last couple of years is you ain't gonna please everybody so you just got to do what you think is best and go with it and so um anyway but i got the i got the schedule here the first race is going to be june 10th and that's going to be in spokane and that's going to be a combined um race with the with the idaho group so it'll be a quarter point race for the idaho group and it'll be our first regional race for for the northwest group that'll be fun yeah so we're kind of limited after the castle rock thing fell through and so i got a hold of mr cully and we talked a little bit and, it, and that worked out all right and i think everybody's pretty much going to go to it anyway so might as well try to make it the biggest deal that we can you know Absolutely. Absolutely. We're trying to make that race, too, so that'll be a good one. Yeah, yeah, that'll work good. Um, the second race is going to be June 25th down at uh, Lebanon, Jason Steele. Um, so I think they did have UAS when Wayne was running Oregon a while back. Um, they had a race down there. And um, I didn't actually make that one. We had some motor issues the week before, and so I didn't get to go to that one, but but yeah, June twenty fifth at Lebanon on, on Jason's deal. Um, third one's no, that's a Sunday. I I, I, yeah. I know we talked a little bit last night. You were thinking that's going to be kind of eh, yeah. But. It's a tough deal. I know Jason didn't have much options on that thing, but you know it starts. It ain't going to start at the crack of dawn. The cool part is everybody can go down like Saturday and maybe camp out and then yeah, be there Sunday. Coming and home part and everybody's got to go to work Monday. But you know it's only one race. It's not like we're doing it a whole bunch of times. Right. So I agree. And he assures us we'll be. Will be done as soon as he can get us out of there, three, four o'clock, whatever, and perfect. Have time to get home. Perfect. So, um, the third and fourth races will both be at ORV, 
uh, July 1 and July 29, and those will both be our quarter point races. Nice. So and then uh, those should be big draws. Yeah, they should be. There, and, you know, guys, there's going to be some cool stuff there too. You know, giving away tires and and yeah. all kinds of prizes and stuff. I mean, um, this is not going to be just some. Uh, you know, sorry little deal. I mean, this this is some big stuff. You know, uh, the Millers put up uh, what? Uh, some money. We haven't got it yet, but um, they, they put up quite a bit, and and, yep. and that's going to go to some prizes and trophies and stuff. And then uh, Hoosier Tires and, and yeah, I got a list here. I'll I'll go over in a second for each race what we're going to give out. But then and then the final race will be August nineteenth at Rainier. Oh, nice. So um, and that one, I'm not putting it out there yet, but if. I'm really trying to get the Castle Rock thing going. If it doesn't go, we're going to stick to this Rainier thing. But if something happens between now and August and they get something going at Castle Rock, we might that. shuffle that race around a little bit and try to – because I really want to try to get the Castle Rock thing going. You know, I know Rainier, we got to run with the bikes, and you don't get as many laps, and, it, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, we don't have very many options for right, the right. tracks. Right, right. exactly. And, and we're all hoping for, for Castle Rock yeah. and, and uh, hope to support it when they they're, – they're looking to put a smaller track inside the bigger right. track, and that's what we're all really banking on and, and holding out for. So hopefully that happens and, and we get a chance to get in there and have some fun down there because I do believe it's centrally located. It's yep. a nice track. They, uh, they will cater to us, not that we're asking for a lot. but right. uh, I did talk to Ryan Basile over the weekend. Uh huh. But uh, you know, I don't know exactly where I stand. But you know, he said they were. He was actually he said he was going up there. Um, he was leaving. Uh, that was on. This was on Saturday. Saturday. So he said, "I'm going to go up there on Sunday and check things out, and see what's going on." So yeah, and I, I've talked to him numerous times too. And I guess it's, the biggest issue is, I guess the place is like a, you know, you could have a bass tournament there right now. I mean, there's it's underwater. Water yeah, everywhere. it's a serious so, pond. Yeah. So. Yeah. Another Pat's Acres Junior is what that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just but wait so. and see right now. But if that know? gets going, that's the plan. We might shuffle that last race on the series around so we can kind of get that going. I know, Rainier, like I said, Rainier, the bikes and all that stuff, and you don't get very many laps and whatever. So can you, so do you have any um, thoughts as to why maybe uh, there's this sudden surge in the UAS stuff? I don't know. It just kind of... It's, yeah, it's a, it's a, I don't know, to be honest with you. I mean, I kind of got some thoughts, but whether or not, I mean, it could just be my opinion, but it just the last couple of years, it just seems to be a lot of interest. I mean, people are, I mean, every. Is it the speed? I, is it I, the, is it the. Uh, I think that it's living up to everything that it was ever meant to be. Right. For some reason, it never caught, it never lit fire and took off yeah. but now you know it is the upper echelon you know look at finch just for an instance he started out in the predator cart he dominated that he stepped right into yamaha he ran a couple weekends of that and, and did very well in that and and now he's he's ready to go right up to the to the top he wants to go right there same with billy weber he started out in the 206s he's had really good uh time there in that class dominated it when he runs it and and he wants to move up they mean they're they're seeing what is there they're seeing the upper echelon the 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 top i mean that's basically what it is so and i think a big part of it too here in the last year or so is when they finally announced that the nationals are going to be somewhere where people can realistically go do it you know from out here right right so they've been back in tennessee and missouri and on the east coast and stuff and now all of a sudden they're out here and people realistically go wow we could do that right right yeah, de- definitely. But I, I mean, just everything, everything about the class, you know, right. it, it, it is our shiniest class. It is our, you know, our most uh, the engineering is all in that class. Let's face it. So, you know, people want to go out and be part of that. And it's, you know, it's just finally caught fire. And that's, you know, we just need to keep stoking it and, and shoving wood Ooh. in that and keeping it going. Well, because, yeah, you know, because Chizzy's back there. He said he took some little gig with, uh, I don't know who it's with, uh, uh, I don't think it's Mav TV, but it was one of the. Yeah, I, I would maybe not a major player, but a bigger one. But did you notice this post? He said this was official radio station of you know the UAS or something oh, like wow. that. So, cool. okay. no, I'm just making sure you're in it so yes, everybody can hear you. Forty four sucks. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> Hopefully, she. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what what are you sorry about, Jason? <laughs> I'm not sure I get that. He's sorry he checked in. 
<laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, he might have been. Yeah, no kidding. So, uh, uh, so we don't really know. I mean, it's just the upper echelon. That's what's bringing them in. Uh, it should be interesting because that's Weber. That's uh, Finch. That would be. Um, uh, God, who else is, uh, have I heard? Um, you know, Kravitz has been poking around. I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere. There's always one or two guys y- 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 you know, show up that you don't even, nobody even knows about. They just pop up. And, hey, r- right. What are you doing here? Exactly. You know, <laughs> so. Ross Meyer's got a 450 now too. So yeah. we don't. Oh, uh, oh, so you're not going to disclose anything. Huh? Yeah, sh- I'm not going to disclose anything, but I am shopping for a chassis. Yeah. So. That's yeah. all I got to say. If we're going to be there, we got to be there. So he bought the bike, so it's up to me to buy a chassis. So. Oh, yeah. That's don't for, don't forget, you guys, too, if you're looking for one, uh, Michelson's got a, a 450 for sale. Hmm. It's in the bike still, but... Um, His is in the quad, though. It is in the quad, yeah. I mean, that's what I mean. So is that not the one you want? I don't know. We bought a CRF something or other, so... Yeah. I mean, is there more than one style? I mean, is the, is the bike motor different than the quad motor? If that one starts with a battery... I mean, you can st- one the quad bikes. You can start them with the push uh, button. Oh, oh, sweet! They got starter built into them. Uh, that's that's kind of nifty, actually. Yeah. We bought the wrong one. Damn it! I know. The trick is you start them and then don't let them die. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're working on that part too, so we're so, amassing parts. So, what else you got exciting, Ronnie? So, I mean, you well, got, got some got, cool those stuff. Are the five races. Um, we got a whole bunch of sponsors that are going to help out. Like each of the quarter point races, we're giving away a set of Hoosier tires. Wow. Um, and then at the end of the year, also, we're going to give a set away. We're going to try to get a little banquet going. We're not going to try. We're going to have a banquet at the end of the year. <laughs> and uh, we got some trophies, another set of Hoosiers. And then we've got a certain amount of prizes. Chuck made me a little list here. He's the guy that's been rounding all this up. And, Thank you, uh, Chuck. Yeah. No yeah, Uncle Chuck's the man. But, like, the first race at um, Spokane, BLG donated a complete body wrap. We're giving that away. Um and also, Jason Suchich gave away a couple free entries to BK10. Wow. Wow. So, we're going to give those away at the first race. The second uh, race That's at Lebanon, cool. we got a $250 gift certificate from Mr. Stackman at Judge's Performance and a free wedge wing from Say High Performance. Um, the, the third race, which is the first one at ORV, the quarter point right. race, set of Hoosier Tires. Two hundred and fifty dollars gift certificate from Mako Tools, courtesy of uh, Forty Four Sucks, <laughs> and a uh, hundred dollar, a uh, hundred dollar gift certificate from BBT Starters. Wow, oh, nice. So, so this is no. These are these are these are some quality prizes. I mean, it's not a bunch of. And the list I got here is the stuff that we have now. There's more to come. Like I said, we've got someone that's gonna give up some money, and we're gonna try to get some more things going. I'm not gonna get into all that because we don't have it yet, but. When there's the list, I'll post here. When we're done, I'll post a list up of what we're gonna do. But there will be more to the list, right? For sure. Sure, man, that's awesome. So, well, that's exciting news for uh, UAS out here. You uh, know, out west. I mean, definitely. And I'll personally vouch for the Millers. Uh, they yeah. uh, they stepped up for us for fifteen hundred dollars. We got yep. ours uh, last week. So yep. I'm predicting you're you're yeah. you're there. And we're so. gonna take part of that. Or trophies, season-ending trophies, and some awards and stuff for the you know top three, four, five, whatever. And then we're also what I talked to you about a little bit. I think we're going to take maybe five hundred bucks or whatever. We haven't figured it out yet, and get some hundred-dollar gas cards that to sense. give away to all the racers because I think a big part of the you know people coming to the races and stuff is travel expenses. And right. if somebody comes and they say, hey, we, you know, we're going to get a hundred-dollar gift card. I mean, that'd be a big deal for someone. It, it will be a it very is. big deal. Yeah. It's I mean, that might the make track. the difference between yeah. them going or not going, right? I so. mean, what, uh, you know, that, man, that's, uh, that's awesome news. I mean, seriously, I, I, I like the idea of a, a, a banquet. I mean, I've yeah. always, I've always said, you know, you, you, you can have them at the track and I mean, it's all cool and everything, but it, it's, it's better when you have it where, it, where it's not, I wouldn't say like super formal, but I mean, more of a, you know, more of a yeah. big deal. You know, I mean, that, that's the upper echelon. It should be kind of a cool. Uh, Probably what we'll do is like dinner that, and drink thing, and after and everybody get yeah, after everybody gets back from Phoenix and the Nationals and stuff, we'll f- try to find some place local. Maybe we can get some kind of announcer guy. You know. Yeah, sure. And, uh, <laughs> 
and uh, yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah, that would be really fun. And then do it up like the uh, you know like the cup do when they go to what is it the Waldorf Astoria in New York. <laughs> well, based on my trip last weekend, I think we ought to do it in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to be centrally yeah. located. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't yeah. think anybody would mind the travel. <laughs> yeah, the, the party bus leaving now. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing with your gas car? I'm saving it for my trip to <laughs> yeah, Vegas. Yeah, here's a gas car, but we need to save all five of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, they need to fill the bus up. But and then like one of our other sponsors is my buddy Jake at FX Signs and he's going to make us those I mean you see like Bert Felt does at the end of the year for all the guys that in the national park right. those little signs with the picture of the car and stuff. We're going to yep. get those and some big trophies and and I know we got t-shirts coming too, so One of the coolest awesome. things I ever saw was they uh down at, at the Grove. And you may remember this. I don't know if they did it back then, but um when you first walk in to the racetrack, you know how you go underneath the you, you, know, you kind of go underneath the stands, uh, or whatever. Yep, yep, yep. Over to the right, they had this big area there, and they had um, from the year before, the past season, they had the the champions, and they were like six feet tall, and they had the had the guy in his driving suit, you know, with his helmet, and it said what class he won. And I yeah. just thought that was always kind of really yep. slick, and they had it in a the glass. They used to like, do the same, same thing up at Deming. Their big race every year is the Clay Cup, and if you mm-hmm. won the Clay Cup it, down in the pits, they had this little pit shack, and for a whole year they would put clay cup champion and they put your name up there and everything and man that, yes. that was like and it stayed there for a whole year yeah that's that, awesome that was like the kind of but these were you know the, the, the like the big heads that you see on tv yeah. I mean, it was a full size you know and the guy was standing you know and had every class had one of them and i just thought that was super cool i mean that what a what a cool gift that would be to right i like that, that. yeah it was awesome I mean, if you scale them down, really, you know, it's kind of like what Bergfeld does. It's just yeah. not; it's more the cart than it is the the, the driver, or whatever. But still, um, so and then uh, so they open up June third. June third. That's a that's a little ways out, but that's good. That gives everybody time to save up. But there is Spokane in between that, right? And uh, yep. what's Spokane? Spokane opens up on April twenty second. Wow! Yeah, so that's April early. Twenty two, yeah. They actually have several. They have like three races before the May sixth and May twentieth. Also, yeah, so I got I got to find my stuff because I was just on the phone wow. today with a uh, Boxcast, you know, getting my uh, streaming stuff, you know. But it, uh, so hopefully, if that all works out, man, it, it, it could be uh, some cool stuff there. I mean, the super late model stuff obviously is gonna have to come first, but when, um, I'm hoping that that they. Do, Offset, they, they, yeah, they zig when they zag, and that's what I'm <laughs> super hoping. But um, yeah, so well, sweet rocket. And how about you? How about uh, UCR? You guys, uh, you guys, good to go? You guys? Yep, we're getting all done. We got you know, we got the new chassis, we got mm-hmm. a new, brand new rival, and uh, motor should be back here hopefully next weekend. And we're going April first down to. Uh, no, that's a CRE, right? Is that where you? Uh, yeah, Mike, Mike yeah, Collins is cool. doing it up. So. We had a little problem with it there at the end of the uh, Buddha race. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? I uh, broke an exhaust valve. So, Ooh. Yeah. I don't know how or why, but it did. Well, when so. you twist the thing 96, you know, you're hey, going to. we were up front. That's, that's right. <laughs> but anyway. And, and it had a dang good shot, too. But, uh, yeah, we're getting that back. And then uh, April 1st, we're heading to uh, Cycle Land for that quarter point race. And then uh, we might we'll see how things go, but we, we're going to try to sneak over to uh, – the first or second race at Spokane. Cool. Just to get some practice so, in. Now, you guys are for sure. Now, uh, Cycle Land, is, is it the end of this month? Or? April 1st. Wow. Coming You're kidding. A couple weeks. A- April Fool's? April Fool's. Yeah. So that way, that way, whoever wins, we can just go, hey, April Fool's. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, should be a fairly good turnout I think so. there. I think all, you know, Berg and Ryan and all them will be there and all the, you know, all their guys. Okay. And I know. Two two sevens going. Uh, Chase should be there. No, he won't be there. He will be there. But not Chase is matter, running. Matter of fact, no. But he uh-huh. he sold his stuff, and uh, but he, he's going to be there. So. Oh okay. But who who, who yeah who just uh, Kevin White. Oh. Oh boy. So he's going down to pick it up, and he's going to run that run it. That'll be his first night in it. Holy. I hope Toledo. that was okay to say, Kevin. <laughs> but wow. Yeah, he. Uh, that wow. And then he sold a cart to. The 450 cart that used to be Lorenz's, he yes. sold that to uh, Lawrence. T- uh, Terry? Uh, whichever, Ter- Ter- Terry Lawrence. Mixed up. Yeah, whichever Terry. one didn't already have one. Yeah, Terry. <laughs> so now both Lawrence got carts. So. Wow. But I know for the cycle land deal that uh, 227's going, um, Kevin White's going, we're going. When is that? 
coming up. Two weeks. April 1st. Oh. April 1st. God. Dang, if I was going to be around... Um, I would have I would have done the twenty four hour deal. We got yeah. airplane tickets, so. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we ain't driving. I'm thinking okay. about it though. <laughs> Road trip. We, we could do it. Kevin, we could do it in twenty four hours. Was looking for someone to ride with him. So. Really? Yeah. Oh. He's just going down by himself. Last I heard. I need to hear really? him. Up. Empty trailer. On, well, not quite empty. He'll have our stuff in it, but he's coming back full. Yeah. I need. To oh, he's him coming back. Oh, yeah. Reach he's out got, to me, yeah. Kevin. Reach out to me. Wow. I have a gas card. Good, good for him. That's that's uh, that's awesome. <laughs> That's really awesome. Well, he, he, there's no excuses now. Yeah, hey, let's put I it that way. Card. I mean, even <laughs> even even you know, right? Yeah. I mean, you jumped in that thing in one Lodi, and it's a good car. Isn't yeah, it? very good, and it's supposedly better now. They got a better, bigger motor in that thing from when I ran it, so that'll be good. Really, but but the car did look like. I mean, you didn't even look like you were. You had to really adjust to it that much. It was just yeah, get in and go. Good to go. Yeah. Well, when you're a driver, you're a driver. Well, you know, what, what are you saying, I don't right? Like to brag yeah, I know, but <laughs> do it. Tell, tell, tell it what it is. You know, that's a, that's the whole thing. So. Um, and there's no uh, there's no rule changes or anything coming up on this year, right? There's because that's what every two years, every other, every other year. So we're we're same as last year, yeah. Good. Yeah, so nothing should be changed in there. Wow, here's my deal. Where's West Snow been? I mean, at first it was everything, and and, and it's like poof. I don't even know. Where is he? <laughs> Where is he? I haven't heard from him. Does anybody know? Maybe, maybe he's building body work. I don't know, but is he? I I, I don't know. I, I, too much, too fast, maybe. I don't know. Too much, too fast. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> I'll, I'll buy that. I, I, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll buy that. Okay. I, I, I guess. Me too. Um, yeah. So with that, what you got, Lip? What do I got? What do I got? You got anything uh, else, Rocket? Uh, no, I'm good. You sure? You sure? I think so. Uh, uh, let's see. Are you so when? Both, are, both that, oh, yeah, I got. Are one. you having a barbecue at any of these? Or yeah, he has sponsored, a barbecue every time. By, sponsored by Northwest Race Report. Hey, <laughs> sweet! I'll bring my Traeger. Yeah, they're bringing like you know thousands of dollars worth of food. <laughs> I'll bring my Traeger. Yeah. Um, I did want to point out too uh, the Idaho deal. There, there are two quarter point races. I would hope that those would be very well attended and would encourage everybody to go June 10th and uh, July 15th at Meridian. Right. So those will be big. Now, has anybody heard about the uh, the KT Summer Series? Is that? I uh, talked to Shane about a week ago, and he's just super tied up with work, and he's in the process of selling his house, and he hasn't abandoned the idea. He's just trying to find someone else that can kind of take it over and get going on it. So that was the last I heard. Yeah. Oh, maybe I'll have to reach out, see if I can help him do something. He's yeah. definitely looking for somebody to uh, to adopt that and, and run it, and it's a great series. It is. It, it I took wish off good. I, I wish I had time. I know Rusty's toyed with the idea. I think Justin Beard's toyed with the idea. So hopefully somebody picks it up and runs with it. Are you going to be doing a master schedule like you've done in the years I, past? Yeah, I, I, I got it. I, got about three I just got to make it. I got notes up the gazoo. I just got to sit down and put them all together. I, I live for that. Yeah, so. I know a lot of people have asked me. <laughs> it, takes a, it takes a while to put it all together. I got more at home of, you know, like I got all the tracks and everything. So I'll have to. I, I understand it. how busy it is. It takes I a just, while to uh, do all that, but. It is cool to see. Oh, so you're going to have it on one day. Well, you should have gave me all of them. I would have. I would have well, um, like, I always put one together. Like, so each weekend, you can just look like, okay, the weekend of June, yeah. whatever. And then you can go, okay, we can race it Rainier. We can race it ORV or we can race it. Right. So, you just, yeah, basically, it's, you just need a calendar. You know what would awesome. be cool to make some pocket ones that you could, you know what I mean? Get. Uh, well, they better be pretty big. I can't see as good anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's, 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 that's my biggest problem right there, too. I live for right. it, so I'm glad to hear you're putting that together. So that yep. uh, it well, makes we'll have to, we'll have to reach out to, uh, I don't know, about Shane. I'll have to see what's happening. A lot depends on my schedule, but I wouldn't mind doing something to try to help that go. That's a that's a sweet. Uh, it's yeah. it's it's definitely a great deal. It's, they were talking uh, about putting the 206 with it. What a natural deal. I think that would be smoking, you know. I mean. I think the, the 206, the, the KTF 200, and the the junior UAS to run with along with the UAS. I mean, yeah, it's just a it's four, a right. whole show. Four good groups would be good, and then when we all show up to a place, we'd have a little bit of so you know, some clout. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, that well, would and, be. And, and also some camaraderie because we all pretty much know each other, right. so it'd be easy to. Uh, yep. You know, especially if you have people that uh, don't have the means to get there, you know, you can haul their stuff. They can come in a yeah. car and, and make it all happen. I mean, it's just a no brainer. A little little dough here, a little dough there to, to make it all happen. It all makes things easier. So yeah. for, for sure. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I wonder, you know, would it be wise? To, I, I think it would be wise to conjunction those with yep. maybe with the UAS stuff, mm-hmm. right? I mean, that, yeah. I think that would be a smart um, yeah. and then some smart guys, move. Some guys can, like, go in anyway, can run both classes or do stuff like that. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and the and Yamaha class got so big. I mean, we ran that one last year. And all, I mean, all of Shane's races, there was, oh, yeah. there was twice as many as the UAS was last year. Oh, and yeah. Even I mean, at any of our other Yamaha events. Yeah. I mean, those ones by far drew the most yeah. numbers for sure. And, and the 206 thing is just, like, exploded. It's going to be, yeah. I mean, all them guys would go for it if we had some stuff to give away. And, you know, Shane's deal took off because they're giving away, you know, tires every time. So, People, yeah, Got people something can, like that for the 206 guys. I'm sure yep. they'd be all over that. Sure thing, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And and we, we definitely need to try and get over the hill there and support yeah. uh, our people over there that have done so well to support us over here. We really they need have to. Yeah, calling them that, that group there, yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Like I said, we're going to that race on you know our first one over there on the 10th, but I think we're going to try to sneak over once before that and do a little practice. Oh, deal, so. That's awesome. See how it goes. We're definitely planning on the tenth, so we're gonna right. we're gonna load up and head that way. So I even threatened to drag the wife if Rusty couldn't go. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Just don't let her watch you hit, because <laughs> that'll be it. Mm, I'm not gonna hit nothing this time. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I hope they get the track a little bit. You know, I remember I remember our first uh, trip over there. You yeah, know, it wasn't too bad. I know the last one we went to, when the Yamaha thing last year, my, I thought the track was killer. The biggest issue was they just they were working so hard to make it so perfect. Yeah. Next thing we know, we're rolling off for the first heat, and it was like 10 o'clock or something. Yeah, I think it was later than that. Yeah. But, <laughs> it was, but, yeah, I mean, the track itself was great. Uh, I mean, sure, we had some things we worked through early in the day, but after that, the track was phenomenal. Oh, uh, great. I, I wasn't upside down because of the track, that's for sure. That, that was just that me. That was just driver error. Yeah, exactly. Yeah that was just me so <laughs> there was uh there was no issue with the track i would I, and i will go back to that track i yeah. i like it so. yeah, that's sweet dude i've never super ran, sweet. never personally i've never ran very good there but i love going there so i'm looking forward to meridian too i've never been yeah. that far over yeah. so yep. it uh be pretty neat definitely i'm looking forward to that I as always, well always well, like going to new tracks <laughs> <laughs> well hang tight uh i gotta get my uh we're gonna uh pay some bills no we're gonna uh get the driver tip of the week in here oh Hey, Here's there we go. 41's Ronnie Swires with your driving tip of the week. Hey, racers, this is Ronnie Swires, professional driver coach for In the Driver's Seat Tip of the Week. Over the past few months, I've met many of you, and you know me as the man behind Product 41. But what you might not know is that I've been involved in amateur and professional motorsports as a driver and driver coach going on 29 years. Today, I want to share with you a quick tip about our eyes and how they are used or misused on the track. Most of us drivers tend to get lazy with our eyes as we stop looking as far ahead as we need to and start looking right out the front of the car or the cart. This causes us to start making small mistakes that ultimately cost us time. So when you feel like you're making these mistakes behind the wheel, remember, get your eyes up, look a little farther ahead, and you'll probably find it solves a lot of those small problems. Tune in next week for another driving tip. This is Ronnie Swires in the driver's seat, tip of the week. Take it away, Lip. One more to come or no? Well, yeah, I got the, I had the, uh, uh, yeah, yeah in my, so in my, he's in my haze. On that. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> He's working on that, but we'll keep going with the show. We got a few more minutes here, so uh, we don't have a lapping with Lippy today because we are out on uh, assignment, we'll say, up here at Angel's Fine Shop and basking in all that it is. A beautiful shop, by the way, and I'm very envious because uh, I have one at home, but my wife affectionately calls it my hole. And uh, so I don't quite <laughs> have the layout that she has here because it is very nice. It's even heated. Yeah, we don't have that at my house either. We have a wood stove and that's it. And somebody has to feed that all the time. So uh, we do appreciate that. We do appreciate any of you that uh, have a shop that would like us to come by to reach out to us and let us know about that. And we'll get you on our schedule and, uh, you know, we'll get out to your facility. And, and you know, if you want to stream it, we'll stream it. If you don't, we'll uh, we'll just broadcast from there. So reach out to us and let us know about that. And we will get you on the I, schedule. I, I think I got this one. I hope I didn't just grab the wrong Here's ones in my head. 41's Ronnie Swire. Yeah, I got the wrong one. God, I cannot believe that. 
yeah, we're on assignment, you know. It just doesn't happen as easily as it should. Well, it's yeah, but I I had I copied everything. I mean, it should have been. Uh, it all should be there. It should be, but it's not, and uh, that that kind of gripes me a little bit because I worked hard to get that thing done. Uh, but anyway, um, while I look for it. What Maybe are, bring Chad Follis in here, huh? Let's get him on here a little bit and see if he can. Uh... Chad Follis, what about uh, what about Mr. Shane Buys? He just shoved pizza in his face. This yeah, that's why awesome he's awesome. Time. Well, we'll get them both on here. <laughs> pizza in hand. <laughs> Man, I can't believe that. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> we'll just leave that out for the for the PG part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. We need to have like an after hours uh, Northwest Race Report. <laughs> yeah, we should do North, that. Northwest that would, Race that, Report that would uncut. Be, that, that would be super cool. You don't want to go there? <laughs> that would be super cool. Let me try this. Yeah. One. <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker, and we're going down. Got a new segment here. <laughs> if you're under 18, please turn off your radio. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to get the streaming camera first. <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to give a shout out to my buddy Dick's Racing. Dick sucks right there. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We're covering oh, all. He's my messaging gosh. me on my phone while we're doing this. So we're covering all of our bases tonight, <laughs> just so everybody knows. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be a 43 around here somewhere pretty soon. Yeah. yeah. God, I can't believe I did that. A few others. That is <laughs> that is just ridiculous. My phone still hasn't sent me anything back from Kevin yet, though. I was figuring why did be hitting me up by now. I said I got a gas card. Oh, you I thought your wife it. would be hitting you up? No, no. She's got my bags packed, I'm sure, by the door. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, bank on that one. I'm just looking for a ride to Cali. That's what I'm looking I, for. I got a couple messages here on my phone, but I don't think I should read them over the air. <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> no, probably not good. <laughs> Especially if they're from my wife. I don't recommend it. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me see here. If a truck I can, driver. I don't even know if I want to try this, but... <laughs> Yeah, are you sure you want to do that? No, you know, I think I'm going to have to, uh, because it was on the road, I, dang it, I grabbed the wrong one. I worked so hard to get that, too. Oh, well, we will, uh, we'll, we'll run that next week, and uh, I'll just have to start over. And, dang it. That's why it's Jason, kind of Jason unfair. Jason Suchis just messaged me. He said it was okay to read his. <laughs> yeah. But I won't. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Please do not. Another disclaimer there. That's yeah, all good. I'm just yeah. giving him a hard time. <laughs> How bad? So where are we at? Uh, <laughs> we're going to wrap things up. Hey, where's hey, uh, where's Chet at? Hey, can, can I make a request? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know at the end of the show when you say go yeah, to the yeah. can I say that part? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, sure. I, I like saying go to the high side. Yeah. yeah. He's going to go through the info and <laughs> T-bone you. <laughs> yeah, was, no, no problem was, here. Uh, that was me. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> yes. Woo-hoo. Yeah, shoot, I grabbed it. I know what I know what happened. So, it's all good on the high yeah, side. Yeah, it was the second episode. And I, yeah, never mind. So, uh, yeah. Chad, you ready to jump in here? Yeah, right on, right on, right on. We got a few minutes left. Uh, Folis Motor- Motorsports. Chad Folis, welcome to the show, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you want to hook him up? It is a pleasure. You want to hook him up, make sure he's up there. There you we go. go. Hello, so you guys pretty much have to be in right this. on it. There yeah, you go. Yeah. Go. Perfect. So tell us quickly, um, this is a little bit about uh, Follis Motorsports. What's going on? You're through Italian Motors, right? We are. Yeah, we're connected to them. So we race their chassis, uh, take direction from the Valiantes, and we're pretty much the de facto uh, four-stroke team for those guys. Okay. Wow. I yeah. see. I didn't know that was kind of the. So then, and then you're just you're the acting. Uh, what do you say? What do they call it? The uh, operations manager of that four-stroke part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a uh, within the team. We have we just bought a new tag cart. Uh, Scott Hargrove and Kevin Janders are going to drive that. That's, oh boy. Yeah, that's going off to the F Series race in North Carolina in a couple weeks. 
And I'm just kind of the coordinator. I just put people together and uh, make sure they have what they need and uh, right. you know, get to have fun. So do you, now are you going to travel with them? or? Uh, I hope to in the future. Right now I'm not. Uh, so I get to go you know, let those guys have fun and I'll you know, get to stay at home right. and watch what's going on. So, but do you, your capacity at home, so is it your job to get parts here that they need and stuff that they need, or you just line up people with people yes both of those yeah oh wow. i'm like the official part runner and, so you're uh, like the multitasker exactly i just kind of fill in the gaps uh these guys already knew what they were doing as far as racing and that goes so i just kind of uh try to find a way to fit in to get them what they need to give them a little direction organize stuff like that but they're really doing all the hard work well, you know, I, I I just get to have fun and watch them basically. Well, yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I want that's that job. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, PGP. Let's talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, they got an arrive and drive thing there, right? But that is not what you guys are, are doing, right? I mean, could somebody like say on the second they're having that money race? By the way, Northwest Cart Dates is putting up twenty five bucks to uh, what is it to the winner? I think if they're wearing a Northwest Cart Dates uh, T-shirt, so you can just uh, an FYI, just an FYI, you can go to Northwest Cart Dates on Facebook and uh, take a look at the T-shirts. Uh, that might be a worthy deal. Twenty-five bucks is twenty-five bucks, right? Yeah, and then they have uh, the, uh, Derek Biddle's the one that really put that yeah. deal together, and uh, he's also got uh, Fast Tech is is giving some uh, gift cards away. Mm -hmm. the racers and then we sponsor the race as well so the money's going to filter down through the field so if you're not you know up near the front there's a chance that you're you know pretty good chance you're going to walk away with something so it's pretty cool that's uh i think that's the way everybody's kind of going it's one of those things if you make the event everybody tries to get a little something something and i think that's kind of cool actually mm -hmm. you know what i mean but uh so so if the arrive and drive deal. So on that race on the second, could you go and get an arrive and drive cart and, and run there, or is it, or is it one of those things where uh, it's separate from? Yeah, no. Uh, PGP just does the rentals, and they have really top notch rentals. They're really fast, and that's separate from what we do. Although there are ways to do an arrive and drive, and I know Hugler Racing Enterprises, uh, they have a program there. Doug Hugler that uh that does that so if you need a cart and you mm -hmm. don't want to haul it over from eastern washington or whatever you should get a hold of him so there are ways to do it there's other people that have carts uh this last race we had i had a spare cart that i put somebody in uh it was pretty cool yeah that's really cool yeah wow. so so hugler's uh hugler's dialed in on this thing isn't he he is he is and he you know he always shows up with about four guys and uh, he always has room for more and he knows that track and Craig Collins is always up there in the mix. Yeah, he's a runner. So uh, if somebody does want to do that, that's that's probably my suggestion is get a hold of him. Mm -hmm. And then he'll work with you at the track. You'll have uh, information to tune your cart and all that. And, and they're competitive carts, so that's a good deal. Yeah. And then, and then uh, were you there? I don't know if you were there. Did you see Monroe Jordan when he came down to run uh, Hatch's stuff? Because he's, he's part of uh, Chad's team. And uh, he had never been on the dirt. Right. Boy, was he phenomenal. Wow. I mean, well, he swept it. Yeah. He came down here and swept it. Yeah. Like, oh. it, was, like it was, you know, boom, boom. No, he's special, man. He's him he, and, and, and another guy we got racing for us, Kevin Janders. Both of them are just exceptional drivers, you know. It doesn't matter four-stroke, tag, shifters. They're up there in the mix no matter what. Yeah, and, you know, and those are the ones that come around every – you know, maybe 10, 15 years, right? They exactly. just they just get it right out of the gate. I remember watching him over at Spokane the first time I think I've ever I ever saw him, and I was just utterly amazed at the uh, just the maturity and the of the decision making skills and and all the you know when to put it there and not to you know I mean he was just I was just like wow this kid is showing me all kinds of stuff you know I mean. Uh, most kids at that, I mean, you know, it's just wide open, pedal down the brake. Where's that? I didn't know, you know, <laughs> I mean, he was just, uh, all over it and it was just like, man. Um, and then I watched him and, uh, um, oh, um, he's from up the, he runs there too. Uh, uh, why am I forgetting his name? 
God, they raced Junior Two together. Um, oh, help me out. Who uh, who who else runs? Uh, he, he's pretty. He ran Rotax too. Um, Brandon Kisak. No, he's a, a younger kid. He's more uh, Monroe's age. Um, hmm. Oh my gosh! Why am I drawing a blank? And up I've there. said it fifty times. If I've you know a million times, if I said it once. Um, uh, he ran Rotax. He ran he, he mainly four stroke stuff. He and Monroe used to battle it out. Mason Buck. Yes. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Oh, that kid's thank something you. else too. He's really. He good. is. He's a natural too. Yeah. His. He really has a good program going on. He's going to be something too. Yeah. Keep he, your eyes on that guy. Yeah. I remember he came down to Medford at the 2014 Grands in show up. I mean, he was like boom, just like lickety split right there. So, what do you say? I mean, that's uh, you landed a couple good shoes. I mean. Mm-hmm. Well, Janders is quite good too. I mean, uh, you know, on the Gold Cup, he was all kinds of good. So, man, Folas. Yeah. No, I'm just lucky. I mean, these guys, they do all the work. You know, I just get to have fun. And they're actually they're at the shop right now getting ready to go to uh, Reading. They're leaving in the morning to go to the big super regional race down there this weekend. So, well, good stuff. So, so we're sure Monroe is um, capable. I mean, we're, we're sure that he's. Uh, uh, upheld his end of the deal oh yeah 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 and with t- uh kevin and monroe are going to be racing in the senior class down there so with two carts uh no i meant school oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's going he, well it, it is he's back on track and uh you know he's did a reassessment there and uh things are well he understands yeah. where uh where this is going and the opportunities that uh, he has and uh you know, he's well, more importantly, somewhere. I hope he understands where it's going if those aren't a priority. Right, right. Now, I think he's, I think he's been through that. I think he's got it. I mean, with your help and others that care about him, uh, he gets it. Okay, good, good, good. That's important. It's I mean, always I, good I, to have I, good I mean, grades. I mean, I, mean, I just think me, it's so. important. I mean, too many, too many kids get away with it the other way, and 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 I don't. Uh, it's not the way it needs to go. You should not be rewarded for that kind of stuff. So, but good stuff. Uh, so, Reading's a big deal. Um, God, is that the? Uh, it's not. Uh, is it a street race or is it? No, it's at. Uh, it's it's a Shasta Karting Club. Okay, and it's a really. I, we haven't been there before, but it looks like it's a really cool track. It's got a straightaway that's like I don't know, eight hundred feet or something. Wow. Tight turns. Uh huh. And there's going to be a bunch of people there. It's uh, it should be pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, it is nice. We're right? hoping it rains. You are. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know how to do that. They don't know how to do that in California. <laughs> yeah, that, this is true. <laughs> it's been raining plenty down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it has. It might still be. Well, uh, where is that now? In Shasta? How close is that to? Oh no, that's ways away. Yeah, that's in Northern Cali. So it's Redding. It's probably I'm guessing about 700 miles from here. Wow. Yep. Well, yeah. guess what, man? We're, we're about out of time. Yeah. Yep. We're ready to rock and roll. Chet Folis, thanks for being on, man. Thanks for Absolutely. coming up. And thanks for having me. It's do awesome. a little networking here and uh, want to thank Renee Angel for, uh, for hanging sure. out. Let us hang out here, Facebooking it live. This be sure you, yeah, be sure you, uh, be sure you wave there, Chet, and make sure. Uh, Mon- <laughs> did you let Monroe know you were coming? I did. So he better be tuned Those in. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't see shop. him. I didn't see him on here. So I'm gonna have to, if he, you know, just as long as he knows, if he didn't tune in, he's not going to Reading. <laughs> <laughs> they probably turned off when it went from PG to R. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So uh, cool stuff. Thanks for being on. Thank you, Renee. Thank you. Uncle Chuck, Ronnie Cox. You weren't afraid of the mic, dude. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. And uh, oh, we gotta get we gotta get the rocket on here, so he's got to get the headsets because he's gonna he's gonna close us out here. Chet Fullis, thank you, buddy. Thank you, man. And uh, here we come. It's the rocket, Ronnie Cox. I don't know I'm gonna let you get in there. What? Oh, you're gonna do it? Okay. So uh, thanks a lot, everybody. The rocket's gonna close you out. Oh, okay. So I guess I got to say it. So I got to say the first one. Okay. So uh, we'll see you next week. We'll have a good show for you. We'll have some results. We'll have more. Uh, we'll be back more kind of on a level ground here. But um, before we go, just remember, if somebody is on the bottom, 
What do you got to do, Rocket? That somebody's probably 44, and you don't follow him. You follow the nine and go to the high side. Yeah, baby. <laughs> he was dying to do that. Shane Smith, you know we love you. It's all in fun. So, uh, Matt Streeby, Mario Mendez, Brian Esquinia, everybody, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Take care, everybody.